Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Savum 12 volt cordless chainsaw. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So let's open this up. So it comes with this nice blow mold case. Here we have the manual. So you want to read through this. There's lots of safety guidelines here. Now this isn't going to be as powerful as a commercial chainsaw that runs on gas, but it can still be very dangerous. So you want to know all the precautions you need to follow. So here we have a diagram. We have the sprocket cover, protective chain guard, high quality chain, guide bar, bar tensioning knob, battery power indicator, trigger, safety switch, comfortable handle, high power battery. Has a power display. Here are some specs. The motor speed is 4,200 RPM. Drive length is 32. Guide bar is six inch. The cutting bar length is five inch. It has instructions in here on how to tension it. When it's tensioned properly, you want to be able to pull it down about three millimeters. So it does come with a little bottle to oil it, but it does not come with oil. If you're trimming live trees with it, they recommend using something like vegetable oil or a purpose-built chainsaw oil that is safe for trees. So this comes with some gloves, has kind of a rubber grip on it. Here's the oiling bottle, has a cap on it. You do need to trim that cap, so you'd fill it with oil there. Here's the chainsaw itself. Let's look at everything else it comes with. So it comes with these batteries and it has a charger. The charger output is 13.5 volts at one amp, and those will plug into the battery right here and there are two of those and here we have a second chain so here's the chainsaw so it has a cover here and then it has this here to protect the blade you can unscrew this to get the chain out we can see the tension here is set properly at the factory here's the other side it does have a safety lock so you need to press this in with your thumb before you pull the trigger so let's put the battery in so let's try this out So that feels very nice. It also comes with this little cleaning tool. So I'm going to charge the batteries up and then I'll head outside and we'll test it. Okay, so I'm out here at this birch tree. I'm about 12 foot high on a ladder and I need to cut this branch here. Probably the trickiest part of this is that I'm holding a camera right now, otherwise it's pretty easy to hold. So I'm going to come out here and actually I think I'll just cut these branches off first to get rid of the weight. So if I were to cut that, that would have swung back and hit me. Now I have most of the weight off there so I can cut this closer to the tree. I cut that super easy. So now I can cut it closer to the tree. I forgot to mention I did lubricate this with vegetable oil. Okay, so we're back on the ground now and I want to cut up this into smaller pieces. So even these small twigs will cut easily with this. So you can see how smooth the cuts are here. So this thing's cutting incredibly well. My only challenge is that I'm holding the camera with my other hand, so it's kind of pinching it. Otherwise, I'd lift up on this side. So here's a larger piece of birch that was cut previously, and I'll cut some sections of it. So when you're cutting with this, you want to let the blade do the cutting. You don't want to force it. And then sometimes I'll rock it back and forth a little bit to help it clear the chips. And here's some more of that branch I cut off. So I previously used to use a reciprocating saw. This is nice because that chain pulls it towards the saw itself and it doesn't vibrate it. So this works well for cutting smaller branches along with bigger ones. So that was the Savum 12 volt cordless chainsaw. So I found this very easy to use. Really my only challenge, as I mentioned earlier, was that I was filming with my left hand. So there were times it would have been easier if I could have, for instance, pulled a branch up so it wouldn't pinch the blade, which is typical of any saw. But otherwise it was very easy to use one-handed. Now, after I finished filming that, I continued cutting things and I 
didn't even make it through one battery. I didn't have to switch to the second one. But it is nice to have two batteries. It gives you extended runtime. Then it also comes with that spare chain too. So if you're cutting and the chain gets dull, you can swap that out and then you can sharpen the other chain later. So I think this is going to really come in handy for doing things like pruning trees. And where it will really be nice is when we have windstorms blow through, a lot of times it will knock branches out of the trees. And even if it doesn't knock one of my branches out, oftentimes a neighbor's branch will get knocked out. So I'll go help them. And since it's rechargeable, I don't have to worry about going to get gas or keeping gas on hand for it. I will make sure that I keep these batteries charged up on a regular basis when I'm not using it. But with just a little bit of oil on the chain, this thing's ready to go. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.